as promised, I'm back this week sharing some projects that I've made using the prints we created in last week's video. Now, I've taken these prints, these are the original prints, I've scanned them into my computer and printed them out on a nice satin finished paper. Um, high quality scan, they've printed out really nice and it gave me the option to enlarge a couple um, as I wanted just you know, to vary the size up a little bit. I have therefore made these available for you to purchase in my Etsy store. Pop the link for that below in the description. So, you know, if you want to have a go with these, these images that I created, by all means, please go buy the sets. There's two sets. Each have got four images in. Um, print them out and use them as you wish, you know, in your projects. That's absolutely fine. It's just, as I say, sometimes it's nice to be able to use the same image more than once, you know. So I have taken eight of my favourites at the moment. I mean, I've still got a whole pile that I haven't used yet. And these are available, as I say, in two sets of four. But I'm going to show you what I've created. That's what you wanted to know. What can we do with the prints once we've got them? And really, just treat them like you would any other patterned paper, scrapbook paper, things like that. So here, this is like, like our orange and red marbled background, and I've used this um, to create a tag. I've added some washi tape. These are some of the Tim Holtz paper dolls, and I've added a little color with some alcohol markers um, just to tint their faces. I've also added some of the fairy wings. That's the new ideology. Um, I've got them here the transparent wings. I thought they'd look quite cute. So there you go. Great background and really nice contrast with my washi tape. Quick and easy project. Bit of sari ribbon in the top. Next, this was the one of the bubble wrap backgrounds that we created with the blues and the yellows. Die cut it into a circle, added some silhouette um, flowers. These are Sizzix. Again, Tim Holtz, the, one of the wildflowers sets just matted it onto some black card and some yellow card. And that's a really striking and simple um, greetings card. Really, really nice. Then we've got the fishnet design um, that we used. This was the bath scrunchy, um, bath scrubby that we used. And I've used both the positive and the negative here to create two cards. So this one I've, I've stamped and embossed in grey, some fish, and then I've added, I don't know if it shows up, this got a Wink of Stella sparkle pen just to create a bit of iridescent sheen on these fish. Now the fish are part of this visible image art rebel set. It's this this fish here that I've create, used here. And this stamp, um, this was from a, a magazine, a set of summer themed magazine stamps and it seemed to go really well. So that again, quick and easy card there. This one here, I've used the skeleton fish from this same set of stamps. And this is just, I've printed out this um, sentiment, only dead fish go with the flow. And just printed that out onto my patterned paper and matted and laid it onto some black. Next up is the nice sort of bubbles background. Again, it was a really pretty background, didn't want to do too much to it. So I decided to add a stamp. This is a Wonky Tonk stamp by Tracy Eason called Dreamers. And I've stamped the girl image onto white card, coloured it in with Copic markers, cut it out, stuck it on the background. Again, really pretty, simple image, coordinated with the colours very well. Now, Instead of making cards and tags, maybe you don't do that sort of thing. Here I've used one of the marble papers to cover. This is um, like a chipboard binder that I'm going to be putting some artwork in. And for this, this is one of the reasons I needed to make my print bigger because the original prints are five by seven size. So I just enlarged that up to fit an A4 sheet of paper, printed it out twice so that I could put one piece on the back and a piece on the front. This is a piece of fabric that I've glued over the spine in a coordinating colour and just added a little metal um, label holder there that I'm going to put a title in and use this as a mini journal, I think. So a nice idea there would work with any of the, the sort of abstract backgrounds that we've created, but I thought it reminded me of old book covers and I thought that would be a really nice thing to do. And then one of the next thing 
was this print here that a lot of people liked this one said it looked like moons planets so this is um, a little journal that I use where I create separate journal pages and just glue them in like a little scrapbook album and I've used some stamps on this I mean the figures are from the Stampers Anonymous set here which is the Theories set and in the background I've used some Indiglo Blue which is the Calculus stamp and the Numbers stamp and those I've just stamped in blue and turquoise just to create a subtle layering effect in the background and the only other thing i did was add a bit of washi tape at the bottom for the figures to stand on and then just highlighted a little detail with white gel pen over their silhouettes but really like how that one turned out again the background was so so nice i didn't want to do too much to it and finally um for this this short video you know, if you've got prints that you don't like uh, very much or you've just got little leftover bits, because obviously I've been cutting some out, just try collaging. Here, you know, the vase is cut out from one print, as is the, the little base piece here. The flowers are just layered circles, roughly cut from another print. I've added some doodling details with Posca paint pens. And this background is just actually some of the Dina Wakely collage papers that I've just glued onto the page behind everything but you know these little off cuts that you've got left over perfect for, for collaging I mean a while ago I did a video created this which was just circles cut from leftover bits and pieces of prints you know so don't throw anything away it'll all come in handy so I hope this has given you a few ideas of how to use your prints um, whether you're using them just as a background, a fairly neutral background, or whether you want to tie in some imagery to actually go go with them. They're just really nice. You don't you know use silhouettes look really striking against the bright colours, and you know they're not just for cards and tags. Think about your mixed media project storage. You know if you've got um, sort of desk tidies and things like that, these would be beautiful for decorating those as well. So if you're interested in playing with any of these prints, um, as I say, don't forget to check out the Etsy shop. The prints that are available are this um, orange and yellow marbled one, the lovely bubbles design, the moons, the green and magenta marble design. We've then got the two fishnets, the positive and the negative images, the bubble wrap. And I've also popped in this one with the circles and the lines that I used a little of in the, the vase as well. And say so they're available in two sets of four available digital downloads. So just print them out on your home um, printer at home. But that's all for today. Um, for today's video, I shall be back again soon with another one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you've been inspired. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.